Bodily Resurrection, Third Sunday, Easter, Year B. In the reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the first reading for today, St. Peter refers to God as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. St. Peter's personal description of God is how God revealed his identity to Moses. According to the third chapter of Exodus, God appeared to Moses in the form of a beautiful bush that was on fire while not being consumed, while not being destroyed by the flames that burned it. Calling out of the bush to Moses, God said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Shortly afterwards, God further revealed his identity by saying, I am who I am. These two ways by which God reveals himself affirms that God is both imminent, that is, God is with us in a personal manner, and is transcendent, and is different from what he has created, different from us. As transcendent, as different from creation, as different from the people he has created, God is, I am who I am, because God is being. God is existence. God is relation. We only have relations. We only have being. We only have existence and are not existence itself, are not relation itself. However, while God is completely other, completely different from us, he also is with us in a personal way by being a God who relates to us personally and who cares for us by name. For this reason, God first defines himself to Moses in relationship to specific people, to father figures, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When speaking to the Jewish group called the Sadducees, Jesus defines God in this personal manner by explaining that God is a God of the living, not of the dead. In reference to Exodus, Jesus argues that since God revealed that he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, even though these men have died, this means that God still relates to them. Since relationship can only exist between something or someone who is alive, who exists, this means that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are still alive in some way even though they have died. This response of Jesus surprised the Sadducees. The Sadducees believe that both the soul and the body vanish into nothingness when a person dies. In addition, the Sadducees referred to the first five books of the Bible, which includes Exodus, to defend this belief of theirs. Knowing this, Jesus wisely refers to Exodus in a way that undermines the Sadducees' denial of life after death. By dying on the cross, rising from the dead, and appearing in his glorified body to his disciples, Jesus even more affirmed that life does not cease when a person dies. Rather, life continues, since God is a personal God who holds us in existence in this life and holds us in existence after we die. For God is a personal God, a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Furthermore, Jesus' bodily resurrection from the dead teaches us that one day we also will be reunited to our bodies. We hope that we will experience the reunification with a glorified body in heaven. God bless.